Have you ever had a smell trigger a memory? Heck, we all have. So this morning I'm preparing for a speaking engagement next week and I smell coconut. I went to get my hair done and she used this coconut uh, shampoo. Anyway, my brain and body immediately transported me to a memory that was involved with that smell. Momentarily, I was transported to another location in time and space. Now, had I chosen to stay in this time travel, I may have started up some reggae music. <laughs> I may have carried on with positive vibes. The thing is, I was on task and needed to continue my prep work. So I gently noticed where my time travel took me and redirected my focus. Now, this time travel doesn't always take us to a tropical island. <laughs> Sometimes it takes us to disruptive, fearful, or painful places in time. And the truth is, your brain doesn't really even know the difference between reality and time travel at times. And the sensations and emotions that come with that time travel often take over if you let it. You see, time traveling to a negative and fearful space in the past affects your present reality. It affects your relationships. It reflect, affects your performance. It affects your focus. Your brain and body are so fascinating. So, I want you to know you no longer need to be a victim of time travel. This is the work, noticing and redirecting your unruly brain and body so it could serve you instead of leading you astray. Curious how? New groups are gonna be forming in February in my experiential learning container. So DM me for info if you're interested.